During the treason trial uh, in 1960, uh, with the Sharpul massacre, the ANC and the PAC were declared illegal. So political activity, non-violent political activity became uh, impossible. And uh, immediately we were discharged from the treason trial. The organization, the ANC, had decided that Mandela must go underground. So he had to leave his family and his law practice and uh, function as an outlaw. So I was in this little committee that was charged with looking after his needs. With an open heart and a rainbow colored skin. And I feel when the trial started, we consulted among ourselves and the lawyers. And we had among us, among the eight of us, four of the most senior leaders of the African National Congress, Mandela, Sisulu, Mbeki, the father of our president, and uh, Mshaba. So they had special responsibilities in that position. And uh, Mr. Mandela said that this cannot be fought as a legal case. It must be fought politically. You don't ask, you don't apologize. You don't volunteer evidence that they haven't got. But if they've got genuine evidence, you don't challenge it. But you go in and proclaim your political beliefs proudly. I fit in, cause I live under African skies. Not only did we talk politics, but we also smuggled in books and uh, one person would read that book, like when we smuggled a newspaper. One person would uh, read it and memorize as much as he could and then go from group to group. Yeah. So in that way we discussed politics and we organized ourselves as the ANC into small units of three uh, which met and discussed politics, political, uh, the ANC politics. Hi, 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 hi. I don't see any change uh, politically. Uh, of course, uh, you can say that uh, as individuals going through that, it, it, it strengthens your character, your personality. It does. And uh, in that sense, I suppose all of us had benefited because in the face of adversity, to, 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 to be able to withstand that, it does strengthen one, one's personality. But... Uh, Politically, he hadn't, he hadn't changed. Uh, if anything, he, he became more entrenched, his political beliefs. Look, we are not shocked or surprised because our struggle was never a struggle where we were thinking of an outright victory. We knew that we were going to win one day but our struggle was to bring the enemy to the negotiating table. Tenth of October, I remember it was a Tuesday. We were taken on one of our visits uh, to see him. And when we met him, he said, Chef, this is goodbye. So uh, says, uh, we, we just laughed. He said, look, two ministers have just left and they have now assured him that we are going to be released. But they didn't say when. Saturday night, uh, about half past 10, 11 o'clock, I can remember, the head of the prison came to us and said, I have just received a, a fax from prison headquarters. You are going to be released tomorrow. That's Sunday. Uh, well, my first question was, what is a fax? As far as his political outlook is concerned, I don't see any, any changes, not at all. Like, uh, he became, when he became the first president, he personified or signified forgiveness reconciliation. Now, it's not as if 
we sat down in jail one day and said, look chaps, we must now forgive and reconcile. It was consistent with the policy of the African National Congress. The sun shines down and the days are long and I live on the African skies. That he's not free of vanity. And I had pointed out that when, uh, apart from the clothing, he was very, very meticulous. Uh, when he was underground, by that time, his face was known. And our little committee who was looking after him said, look, you must shave off your beard. Uh, because you are recognizable and you're tall. He refused. But prior to that, when we were at Polsmo, he was used to a brand of hair oil called Pantene. And when he ordered it afterwards, they came back to him and they said, it's, there is no, you know, it's sold out. He refused to believe it. So he started complaining. He even complained to Helen Susman when she came visiting that these people won't get my Pantene. <laughs> This is where I belong.